Hi, this is Rodney with Mercer Online. Um, there's recently been an issue that has come up with YouTube videos in Blackboard courses. Uh, this video is going to describe to you what the issue is and also explain to you how to work around it. The issue itself stems from a change that Google recently made on their end uh, regarding the way authentication is passed through. Uh, they've changed, they've upgraded their system and what happened is that caused everything that was connected through Blackboard which has a plug-in into Google which caused all of that stuff to break. Um, um, Blackboard is currently working on a fix for that. However, in the meantime, everything that was created using the YouTube mashup is broken. Yeah, that sounds like fun, right? So here is, this video is going to show you how to work around this issue and how to include the video into your course that may have been affected. Um, so what I'm in, I'm inside of a sandbox course here and I'm just going to come over to build content and I'm going to select blank page. Now you will notice uh, underneath mashups, YouTube video is no longer listed as available. We've removed that option until the uh, patch is available from Blackboard and we've applied it. So for this case, I'm going to select blank page and I'm going to give it a title. And then of course in the content area, I want to give some description of the video that I'm going to include. So as you see, I've entered some text here uh, into the content area. And now what I want to do is I want to insert my video. Um, so I've got another tab open here at the top. So if I click on that tab, this is going to take me to the video that I want to put in. And this is a video on the census. And if uh, to get the information that I want to embed, what I want to do is just underneath the video, there's the option for share. So if I select that, and then you'll see here there's share and it gives me the URL. But what I want to do is I want to embed this video into my course. So I'm going to select the embed option right here. And this is going to give me this whole string of code. So you right click on that big long string of code and select copy. And then you come back over to Blackboard. And now also in Blackboard, once you're on this screen, um, this is where you're going to put that video link. Now, you can't paste it right here because if you do, it's just going to show a link uh, and it's not going to work. It's just going to show the text. So what you want to do is come over to the right hand side, the third row of items. And the next to the last one is the HTML button. If you click on that, that's going to open up the HTML box and you can then paste that text in that you just copied from YouTube. So you'll see right here, I've pasted this in. There is that embed code that I copied from YouTube. And if I hit the update button, this is going to now show me the video um, inside of this uh, page that I've created. Bear in mind the video itself is not going to display just a placeholder, just a big yellow box placeholder. If you don't get that yellow box then that means something is wrong and you want to redo it. Um, also if you come in and you go to create the content and you do not see the option for HTML you need to make sure that you expand your toolbar. So right here on the far right hand side I have the option to show more on the toolbar. That gives me all three rows of icons. So if I hit the submit button now this is going to save my work and it shows me there is the link to the page I just created. Um, remember you can't view it unless you go out of edit mode. So I'm going to come up here to the top and select edit mode off. And that brings me into the page where I can now click on my um, page and see if my video actually works. So I click on the link there and ta-da! There is the video that I put in and all is beautiful and great in the world. So again, this is a workaround to the issue with YouTube uh, videos inside of Blackboard. Once a patch has been released by Blackboard, we will be installing it on our servers and we will most certainly let you know that this has been updated. As always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or gentle criticisms, please feel free to reach out to the team at mercer online at mccc.edu 